Peggy Seven. I think a good description of the environments are mind-blowing, I guess. The visuals of We Were Here Together are absolutely amazing. Uh, the upgrade that the game got and the fact that you're actually walking outside and not inside Castle Rock, it gives you such a different feeling than always being locked up in these dungeons, you know? It always took place inside the castle and that's just bricks, bricks, bricks and torches. Uh, and now we as artists had a bit more opportunity to actually do environments and stuff, but also in the castle we decided to do very different visual things. The scale of the newer environments gave us the ability to create larger puzzles. We start off with an idea and it usually just starts with a name or an image or somebody dreamt something. And then we have like, well, it's Misty Valley. Okay, cool. What, what is that? Well, it's a valley, there's mist. The whole area is really blue. It's outside, it's cold, it's in the snow. And then you have all these warm lights, which gives a really big contrast. And it actually makes you feel quite safe in a place where you know you're not going to be safe much longer actually. So that makes it really special to me. For me, my favorite environment is the base camp. It's just magical. It's also the location where you as player can learn the new mechanics we added together. It's a safe environment. So yeah. when you enter the castles, you know exactly what to do as a player. It's a warm bath for the player and the way you you, you create the atmosphere through music, of course, but also texturing and the size of the room. Does it feel cozy? Is the kitchen like a little filthy or is it like super clean is there a candlelight is there just bulbs hanging like that all creates like a completely different atmosphere we also use lighting uh, to lead the player into a certain direction like outside in misty valley we have a few lanterns here and there and that leads the player to a certain destination he's an artist with lighting he's an artist with fog and he always has a way of making every area feel so unique we have, of course, our art team who makes these beautiful environments, but to make the environment live is such a different expertise, and I think that he does it perfectly. As a 2D artist, I provide lore and story-based stuff for the environments, which give you a little bit more uh, backstory about what you're doing over there. Um, so little books and little posters and that kind of stuff. And it's really fun to make because you give a little extra bit to the environment, which actually gives a little bit more depth into the stories. My favorite area in the game would probably have to be the tower lobby. When you enter the tower lobby, you look into this big ass tower, like it's an alchemist tower. And in, in the middle, there's this big planetarium that we sort of based on the dark crystal. But when you're in the castle, you actually experience something huge. Like in the other games, it was always small, like confined, right? It's always hallways and stuff. And now suddenly you get into this tower and it's like, oh my God. The scope just got a little bigger. You can expect like a lot of new new environments, like a lot of new content, um, which is really fun because we're very excited about it. I think you're up for something good. 